In today's video, we're going to show you how to change the transmission in your top load washer. So the first thing we're going to need to do is lift the top on the washer. So to do that on this one, I just need a quarter inch nut driver to remove a couple of screws. On your machine, you may wind up having to release a couple latches in the front and have it swing up. Uh, some models, the console comes up and the cabinet comes off. So after taking those two screws out that hold the top, there is a cover plate here that we're going to want to remove and that's just another quarter inch screw. Just unscrew it and remove it from the back. And you can set it to one side. Now with that done, we're just going to wiggle the top off. Stand it up. I just use an old dryer belt just to support the top. So we can work on the insides. So we're just going to remove our agitator cap. Loosen the agitator bolt. Once that's loosened right off, we can just lift our agitator out. So now with that agitator out of the way, before we can take this inner basket out, we need to remove the cover. So we're just going to use a small blade screwdriver and release the tabs in order to take that cover off. So now with the cover off, we're able to remove this inner basket. To do that, we have to remove this nut. There is a special wrench for doing that. If you don't have that, you can actually use a flat wrench and a hammer to put into that notch and just give it a few whacks and it should come free. Now some tubs release easier than others. Just give it a good push downward on the other side and you should be able to rock it and lift it up and out. So now that we have the basket out of the way, we just need to remove the collar that it sits on and locks it onto the transmission. There, now everything is out of our way. So we're actually going to wind up putting the machine on its back to remove that transmission. So now that we've removed the inside components from the top, um, we've got the top back in place. Uh, normally you just lay this machine on its back on your floor in order to give you a better point of view of what we're doing here. Uh, we've put it up on the table so that you can get a good shot of what we're doing. So to begin with, we're going to remove our belt cover. We just need a Phillips screwdriver. Remove the screws that hold it. On your machine, it might be a little bit different. Maybe a different type of screw, a quarter inch or a 5 16 or perhaps your model may not actually have a belt cover. But for today's demonstration, we need to remove this one. We also need to remove our belt. We'll need to remove our actuator. We're going to remove the pulley using a half inch socket. Just slide that off. So our next step is to remove the splotch assembly. And on this one, it's just a matter of turning this plastic housing and to release it. There's also a spring that we're going to take off and just put with it. So to remove the capacitor, there's a tab down here that we're just going to pull back towards you and just rotate it and it comes right out. We'll also want to pull these little locks that hold the wires to the transmission. We just pull and wiggle, 
and that'll come out. There we go. So our next step will be to remove our motor. We want to disconnect our electrical. And there are two bolts that are half inch. That allows us to remove our motor. So now we want to remove the four bolts that hold the transmission. So with a ratchet wrench and an extension. Now with those bolts removed, we're now able just to pull our transmission out of our washer.